is your Harbor Freight Predator generator unbonded? If not, stick around and find out how to do it. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to go over a couple things real quick. And uh, first thing is, I had a comment on one of my last videos about uh, unbonding my uh, generators. Again, I always appreciate all the comments. And if you haven't seen one of my prior videos, when I picked up the Harbor Freight Predator generator as a whole house backup, make sure you take a look at it up here. One last thing before I get into it, and that is I am not an electrician, so make sure you do your own research before you attempt to do this to your own generator. As I already mentioned, I uh, had a comment in one of my last videos, and they actually broke down how to unbond this generator and, and the reasons why. Um, so it's a very, very simple process on this generator, and most generators are gonna be about the same. But one thing I did wanna do is, uh, just wanted to test this generator first, make sure it is bonded from the factory, just to kind of show uh, before and after. This is just a basic meter I've had for a long time, and I'm just gonna do a continuity test to see if both, uh, both these grounds are actually connected internally. So if I can get these in there. There we go. You can see that right now you hear that tone. So that means that both of these are connected together. Both these grounds are connected together. So after we get done switching, this should not sound whenever we put these two together. Um, and really the biggest reason why you wanna unbond your generator is because this is gonna be for my home power backup only. I'm not gonna really use this in any other way, freestanding. So what that means is my home house panel or electrical panel already has a bond from ground to neutral. And really you don't wanna have both of those bonded ground to neutral, both on the generator and your house whenever you connect it up. You should only ever have one. Again, I'm not an electrician, so definitely not an expert. Otherwise, it's a very simple process. We're gonna go ahead and uh, open the side of this generator up and uh, see if we can unbond it. So one quick step before we actually do dig into the, the side to uh, unbond it, make sure you disconnect your battery from it so you have no power. Um, you shouldn't have any problems when you unbond it, but um, just to avoid any shocks or anything like that, disconnect your battery power and uh, you should be good. So basically we're on the, uh, the side of the generator here um, and there's two bolts right here on the end to pull this end cap off. And on this particular Harbor Freight Predator generator, this is a 13,000 watt tri-fuel, it actually takes a seven millimeter. So we're gonna take these two bolts off on the ends. And surprisingly, I did not see this anywhere in the instructions. There's a few other generators that I kind of researched. Well, I found instructions on how to do this for them, but I did not find, like I said, anything for this Harbor Freight Predator for some reason. I don't know why. So after we get these two bolts loose, this whole end cap should come off. So that, that'll come off. We'll set that off to the side. Um, this is just like a weather seal, it looks like. So you just gotta make sure that you get that, that kind of clipped back into that cover whenever we change it out. So what we're looking at here um, is the feed from the actual, uh, I guess the generator side where the power comes out of the unit. And what we're looking for is the additional ground from the casing to where the power comes out um, from the motor itself. And that is actually gonna be this yellow wire right here. So this is just a jumper wire. And you can see it comes up to this uh, casing here. 
So this is where a bonded generator gets bonded. So this means that it is bonded for sure. We tested it so we knew it was bonded. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is just remove this nut and this nut and then take this little jumper wire out. And that will essentially unbond the generator. Okay, so this nut here is seven millimeters or this bolt I should say is seven millimeters. So same size as what took the casing off. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off as well. And there's a couple different ways that uh, this can be done. So I've seen where they'll take this wire off and it's just kind of loop it back up and keep it on here. And that still unbonds it because they're not touching, they're not connected. And uh, that kind of keeps you from misplacing your wire as well. Um, in my case though, and I've seen this as well in a lot of videos, I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect it entirely. And uh, I'm just gonna zip strip it somewhere. And that kind of just keeps it so that I don't lose it and it's always with the generator itself. So since we got this bolt out, I'll go ahead and uh, put it back in with just the other wire that was already there. Again, the jumper wire is not connected. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this back in, tighten it up. Just like that. And then the other bolt or nut, I should say, is right here. And for whatever reason, um, on the Harbor Freight Predators, they changed the size. So this is actually an eight millimeter. We'll go ahead and loosen that one up. Take this jumper wire completely off. There's a wee little washer here too. Try not to lose that. Nope, oh, two washers actually. So there's the jumper wire. We got that completely off. I'm gonna set that to the side for now. And I am gonna put both the washers back on. One's a little lock washer is what it is. One's a lock washer, then one's a flat washer. And uh, if you forget how they go, just kind of look at one of the other terminals that you haven't touched yet. And uh, that'll tell you which, which ones to put on first. But basically they want that lock washer on and then the flat washer and then the nut itself. So we'll go ahead and tighten these guys back up. I'm just gonna check the tightness of these other ones while I'm here. Yeah, they're all pretty tight, so should be good there. And that basically unbonds it. We'll do another test here, uh, just a continuity test that'll kind of prove that it's been uh, unbo unbonded at this point. The next step is basically just putting the cover back on here. So again, there's like a little weather seal here. Make sure you get that in the right slot. There we go. Go ahead and start these bolts back in. Okay, we got these bolts tightened back up. It's good and tight. The weather seal's in there, good and tight. So, um, we're gonna go around to the front of the generator. Actually, before I do that, I still have this jumper wire, and um, I kind of like, kind of like this spot right up underneath here. So there, here's a, a frame ground here with a jumper wire already on it. Um, same colors, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and zip strip it right to the same, I guess same, but the uh, other existing ground here. That way I will uh, kind of know it's already here. And two, it's on the side where the case is at that we have to uh, remove. So if I ever need to get it and change it back, it'll be right here. 
attached to the generator. But that kind of tucks that away nice and neat. So I'll always have it if I need it. It's right there. So we're back on the front side of the generator. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the battery back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and check our continuity between the two grounds here. So we got our, uh, our tester again, and we're gonna see if we can get these two to show any continuity. And I can feel the metal plates in there, both sides, and no continuity between the two at all. So that means that we've successfully unbonded it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a label on here. I will probably put it, I don't wanna put it on this rubber, it won't stick to that, but I'll probably put it here or up here just to show that it's unbonded. I ended up making a pretty big label, so I'm gonna put it up here on the top. Just like that. So now we remember, at least hopefully we'll remember, that uh, it's unbonded. So there you go. That's how we unbonded the uh, Harbor Freight generator. I hope this was useful to you and it doesn't take much time. I just wanted to go over a few extra details there. But otherwise, I appreciate everybody's uh, comments. I appreciate the likes and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks everyone. Take care.